I guess I can fight. We're finished! This looks like fun! We're finished! Delight brighter than the heavens! Crushing Extreme stars! How's this? Delight brighter than the heavens! Extreme stars! Delight brighter than the heavens! Extreme stars! There's no way we're gonna lose. Hey, I'm getting pretty good. But she is here. I can sense it. Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. Well, she was created through Estelle. So maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to... What, what was that just now? Isn't that where... It came from the direction of Zaude.
Phagos. No. Has Zaudi stopped working? Uh-oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. Hey, Rita. Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Baul! Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atathagos are attacking the city, Nordopalaka. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Ooh! I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Atathagos back! What could have happened at Zaude? Those nutjobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zaude's no longer functioning like it was meant to. Greed always eats itself. That wouldn't be a problem if there weren't other victims. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. Easy on you. We're finished. Crazy here.
Why did things have to end up the way they did? At this point, there's no use mulling over whether we chose the right course or not. But we need to think about it so the same thing doesn't happen again. It's becoming harder and harder to make a legitimate living in this world. I'm not saying this should excuse what I've done. You can't go through your entire life doing what's right. It's sad, but that's reality. But that doesn't mean someone who used their sword for justice will just turn evil for no reason. As long as they were fighting to protect someone right and good. But accept that, and things break down to anarchy. I want to change the world so those who are just can lead good lives. A world where we can't have justice without making someone else the bad guy is just too sad. It'd be nice if people could just talk things over. Yeah, that'd be a nice start. <sighs> That's why I'm saying that you shouldn't carry this burden by yourself.
A book in the warehouse said this city rose into the air at the end of the Goryeo civilization. Hmm, so that would mean it was on land before that happened? That part wasn't clear, but I think the city was probably floating on the ocean until then. Oh, so that's why it got eaten by a giant jellyfish. I don't think that's quite what happened.
So what's Bowel saying? It seems that even he can tell he's bursting with power. Awesome! Even until Ikea grow up, huh? Bowel's still very young, so he probably has a lot of growing left in him. So young and already this big? Old Raven sure is jealous. I think it'd be better if you grew up in a different way, old man. Huh?